Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 2 of Planet Base. So, it may have been a little while, I won't know until it goes up, but as I mentioned in episode 1, uh, we do have... Ooh, guys, get, we've got an injury. Doc, we've got an injury. Stat to the med bay. Uh, we could build a... We could build a cabinet in there. That may be prudent at some point. Just to have some in there. But he's going to run outside, get the get the piece, and then run back in. Alright, uh, so anyway, what were we talking about? Yeah, so I just, I just finished episode one. I'm going right into episode two. This is just one of those saves that I'm going to play and then record it all probably as I play it. And then I'll put them up as I have time. So may not see this for two three four months i have no idea today i don't know uh, but we will put put them up and they will all get up eventually what that means is i won't be one of this won't be one of my series where i can react uh you know every couple of days to your comments if there are any but uh anyway any feedback from you guys would be interesting to hear but let's get on with it all right, so we do have uh, a new power collector going in. We've got the new cabinet, and they are starting to bring in the remaining three medical supplies that we have. So that's good. All right. So I want them to build that before I do anything else. If you build something inside, they're probably going to deliver that first. So, in fact, let's set that as the priority. And then what we can do is I wouldn't mind a small storage here. Uh, is that not... I can only build it to one spot, really? Okay, well, that's fine. And then from there... Oh, no, we don't want to do that. And then from there, we'll build a second airlock to give us access from storage right out. In fact, I wonder... That could be the mine. I might build two airlocks on this end. Once I get this, I may... Uh, trading ship, all right. They're a 45% commission, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and sell all of those. And... There's really nothing I need right now. We're going to be making our own stuff. I would not mind... Would not mind... Well... All right, so we'll get 28 coins for $40 worth of products. Again, that's their 45% commission, so it is what it is. All right, so that we've got we've got plastic and metals being made. We've got ore and starches being generated. Our water, we need to address our water. Uh, is that this one? That's a power collector. And then we'll want to put another water generator out there somewhere. Might do that back here. Because that doesn't connect. It's just a power cord. Or we could do it maybe right off here somewhere. Whatever. Whatever. So what I'm thinking about when we get this storage done... I may build two airlocks here and then connect this airlock here and then I can destroy that one. Maybe? Maybe. A lot of times it won't let you... I, I haven't had luck destroying airlocks. I've never really tried, but it is what it is. All right, so we have got, uh, we've got meals. We've got food going in. We've got 12 food in reserve. Uh, you know what? I could... Eh, we don't need it right now. 
Also, don't put a second water fountain until you get that second water generator because everything that you add that uses water, another plant, uh, a water fountain, all of that sucks into your water grid and that wa your water fluctuates. It's not constant. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to build a water uh, tower either. One of the guys I was watching said that people forget to build those and they do come in handy. So, all right, we have got a lot of ore out here. So you know what? I'm gonna prioritize this building over this one. That should get some of those guys out of the mine and into here. And what I would like to do is I would like to build a second one. So the first piece that they do should come over here. Even though that's prioritized, it's inside. And those typically are the first to go. Typically. Okay, so he just put some more ore in. That's good. And you can see we've got a good quantity of ore outside. Oh, I don't know how high it would go. So you know what we can do is we can actually toggle that off. Well, no, let's turn it off. Let them go inside. All right, we got a trade ship. 60% commission. Ow, that hurts. Um, I would not mind that though. And we're going to go ahead and pay. We're going to pay for it. And yeah, we're getting ripped, but it is what it is. That's all I'm going to buy, though. Just the one. And money transfers automatically. So the medical supply, again, that just get you know, we want to keep a full amount on hand. We have a sandstorm coming in. Nothing we can do about it right now. Uh, because we don't have a security building. I'm not in a rush to build one. Uh, the only thing that that does is it slows your people down outside and it also um, damages your... What are you guys doing? Oh, they're going to get the ore. Okay, fair enough. These are prioritized. Hello? Hello? All right, um, I lost my train of thought. I need, okay, so we're up here. Now we can double our metal production. We've got ore in each one. And we've got a worker there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and activate the mine again, but this is prioritized. So what you're gonna wanna do is, between your mine and your processing plant is alternate how you have those prioritized if you have them at all so what this means is workers will come to this building first and then if there's extra workers they'll then come out here and we're starting to bring metals out there we go and we have our power collector going up that is good news once somebody gets out there and then we will need three more metals out here All right, so our power collector's up. So you can see we're still generating 108. We're only consuming 40 in the middle of the day, but now we're gonna have two full units here. So after this is built, we're gonna prioritize that. Then I wanna put a... airlock here. I cannot connect those at all. That's fine. We're going to build that, then an airlock, and then we're going to build a another water generator. And that's going to be a two. So we can put that back here. It's just a power cable. So those are things that you can build off of these dead end rooms like the sick bay. Anything with a T on it, 
that means it's a dead end and that's the end but you can connect power to it so uh your your dorms your cabins your sick bay uh things like that are all gonna be in that wheelhouse uh, you know what? I want to go ahead and put. I'm gonna go ahead and put another plastics producer in there. All right, that gets our storage up. So now we they'll start getting the things from outside and clearing out the storerooms and bringing them in here. And we're putting that right next to the airlock, which is an easier transition for people. To get it out to a trade ship now lines will back up so they may come out this way but they may go all the way around so just one of those things all right he's a 35 percent i like that <coughs> i can't really afford any of those but you know what i would like to do they do have a driller bot but i think a carrier bot's more important right now your, your people don't like carrying things, so the more carrier bots you have, the better. Uh, we can eventually build a robotics lab to make them, but we're a ways off from that. That will not be anytime soon. Also, uh, if we find, here's our bot right there. So you see they have a, a condition and an integrity bar. Condition is their current working order. That will go down, they will break, they can get repaired. The integrity is kind of how much life they have, how many times they can be repaired. Eventually, like your TV set, your computer, ooh, your TV set, your computer, your car, eventually it just becomes not worth it to pay the money to get it, to get it done in all fairness. All right, we're gonna have our second airlock here. So that's good. And the next thing to go will be a new water extractor. So I'm gonna prioritize that. And then just to have it, I am gonna build a water tower. Because that, you know, any extra water right now goes to waste. So if we do have a water tower, and as I said, water fluctuates, right? So if it dips low, it'll dip into the water tower rather than shutting down our plant production. So and you can see we're up to 25,000 units of storage. And even at night with our wind turbine, we're generating... Uh, Well, I thought we were. Oh, we're not generating any. There we go. But, you know, we, we now we have two batteries, more than enough to come in. The other thing is, if we're generating too many bioplastics and we have starch in reserve, we can always sell the starch, the, the plastics, because remember, those go for more. The, the metal and the starches, go, uh, plastics go for more than the starch and the ore. So, something to think about. All right, I'm gonna dial this back to normal. I mean, I still want the metal. The other thing, you know what? No, we're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna keep it going. I need the metal production. I've got five ore and we'll be sending extra guys out to the mine. So we need two more for the water tank. We've run out of food. Once they build this and get the power up, now our water's up to 11. So now what we can do is we can go in here. And what I'm gonna do at this point, instead of using these fast ones, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do the same spread so we're going to go with one of these and one of these. And then we're going to go three. And I'm going to go ahead and add one more medicinal pad and one more wheat pad. 
So the starches, remember, the starchy plants give you the two food and one starch. We need the starch to make quite a few things. Plastics, we also need them to generate more uh, medical supplies, which we are running low on. So I know what I think our next thing's going to be. I want the water tank to go up. So let's prioritize that. And then we will build a lab. Let's build a lab. Right off of the storage here. I like that idea. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to build another... I'm going to build a small... Small cabin right there. So you know what? I'm going to wait for that. I don't want them sending any resources there. All right, Trader. He is a 40% commission. Uh, so, unfortunately, he does not have a whole lot of anything that we can utilize right now or anything I can afford. I don't want to sell spares. Those are used to repair uh, all the outdoor machinery. Uh, I don't want to sell the starches or anything because we are converting those. I don't have enough food. So, unfortunately, we are going to just tell him to take off. All right, let's speed you back up. So, metals will go out this way first. They're going to go ahead and bring some of the plastics out here to get this done. So, we're waiting on three metal. Now what I could do is if we're making too many plastics, I could tear one of these down like at the end of a run here. All right, and let's do that. And then I want to build another metal. Now, any inside components that you break apart, it will give you a 100% refund. So don't worry about that. Unfortunately, they took his metal and shipped it outside, which is okay. And you can see it's already filling up rather quickly. And because the water's got somewhere to go, it actually generated more water. Now, that'll take power. We need to keep an eye on our power grid. Make sure we're able to stay within at least a half a battery, if not a full battery and go from there. All right, so the lab is going up. This is exciting. Finish the connector, please. All right, what does the lab do, RC? I've never played the game. Well, this is where the magic happens. All right, first off, how many medics do we have? We have one medic. All right, so we're gonna come in here and we are gonna build one lab table and we are gonna build three of these tissue synthesizers. So the lab takes a medicinal plant and a bioplastic plus the medic and it will start generating medical supplies. So if your medic is not working over here fixing somebody, he will come work here. So try to have one lab bench for each one of your medics that you have. Now, being that we have uh, we've upped our water. All right, I want. All right, so we're going to turn on colonist again, but I want this to be 35, 35, 30, and 5. 35. No, yeah, 35, 30, 30, and 5. So you can see we're already at 42%. So they won't send us any more workers. We will get more biologists. We will get, um, we will not get any more engineers. Oh, we will, because we only have 5%. And 
Uh, we shouldn't get it. We might get one more medic, but probably not. Now, let's take a look. So, we're going to change. That's chicken. We're going to change that to cow. And then this one we're going to change to pork when it comes in. There he comes, the yellow one. And we're going to change that one to pork. So we have three different types of meat now coming in. And you can see it generates, it's just like a plant, generates by itself. And when it's done, they come and work it and it generates one meat every unit. So he's working this one. You can see it's working a little bit faster. And so that each one of these takes a biologist to work. So a biologist can typically operate two to three units. So this is one biologist here. And then we've got four, eight, 12, 14. So we need four or five just for that room. So we've got nine, so between sleeping, those should be able to have people basically going to them all the time. All right. Oh, that is a colonist ship. Excellent. So I think we just got an engineer. And we're decent. We're not really good. So we're going to get, you know, one, maybe two at a time. And there you see our medic is working at his bench. But now think about what we've done. Remember we built this second, this third metal producer. And now we don't have enough. Uh, so I'm going to scrap that one. And I'm going to put a plastics back in there. And he'll bring that back. Well, he just broke. So you see he's in very poor, an engineer has to come and repair him, and then his rating will drop here a little bit. All right, there's the engineer repairing him. Once it's done, we should see this drop a little bit. I don't know what the rating percentage is, but yeah, and it, it was going down a little bit. All right, so. This helps in food production. It also helps in the type of food. So what I want to do now is I want to come over to my canteen and I want to put in another of these. I'm going to put in another table. We've added a... We've added another more water so I can add some more water fountains. Okay, that got us two more, two more engineers, that's fine, because some of these machines take engineers, not workers. There are some things later on that we need to start building our engineers up. Now, we don't want to go crazy, right, until we, we want to make sure we've got enough food. So we're going to get a few more people. We got a second medic, so with that second medic, Let's add another lab table in here. Alrighty. And the next thing to add is a factory. And we're going to add the largest one that we can. So I'm going to add the factory... right off of the storage. And they'll start working on that. And the factory then gives us another hub that we can branch more bedrooms off of. So we'll do that. And you can see we're up to seven metals, but no, no plastic. So that's why I added this back in. What I'm gonna do at some point, and I wonder if I should do it now, can't fit it here that's too bad um, this is the small one I'm gonna probably build a bigger one and then we can basically get rid of that one and do something else um, I may do that right 
because that'll run right into that storage as well. But I want that one prioritized. <coughs> so the sandstorms are worse on robots than on people. Oh, you know what? The other thing I want to do is I want to build another mine. <clears throat> Once you have enough people to generate, you know, to keep a mine full, then you can build a second one and that'll start generating more ore to keep your machines full. If you're not keeping your machines full, you're wasting time and production. All right, so we've got a second one here. They've got the medicinal plant. They will bring some plastic at some point. And if we take a look over here, now you can see we have... These are not the greatest. You can't control what goes in, so you can see those are all salads. But this one has pork in it, so that's good. So it will create a basic meal or something different, which is good once somebody takes a meal out. There we go. Now it should generate here in a minute. And we should get something. And it, yeah, basic meal. So now they're having two different types of meals. What that does is it helps keep them from getting malnourished. And eventually I will want much more meat production than vegetable production. All right, I think we're up to six. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna go up to. Oh crap! We just had a death. All right, so it, this sealed off, but anybody in the room died from the vacuum. So we are down a couple of workers. So you know what, I'm going to raise that to 60 and make sure that's still on. So we need to replenish our worker uh, group now. So yeah, if you get direct hit, it has an emergency seal at the connector, but anybody in there dies from lack of oxygen and it's instantaneous. So nothing you can do about that, but we're fixed, we're back to work. We did have a, a death, unfortunately. We're waiting on one more plastic there and then we've got a bit to put out there so it will take a little while we've run out of medicinal supplies but we are making them all right we're up to eight workers i'd like to get a couple more now that i'm up to now that i have two mines Man, there's a lot of activity over here. All right, this is a factory. So, all right, we're going to go into the factory, and you say, oh, my God, everything turned red. Yes, it did. Oxygen went down as it's diffusing through into the new area, and it will equalize. But you can see uh, we're only at 17 18%. We might only get up to 20 here. 22 is kind of what you want for a... A good night's rest so what we're gonna want to do is put in another uh, not, not that we want to put in another O2 tank right here we'll connect that here but in here this is gonna be a factory we want to start building spares that's all we want right now is just spare, so I'm not going to build the rest. All right, we're up to nine, so let's go ahead and freeze that. Give us a little time to catch up. Now, even though we have the domes off, when you get far enough away, they do scale back on just for looks. All right, and you can see we have a hurt person here. Uh, I am also going to build... I'm going to build some more beds here. All right, we've got a trading ship. Unfortunately, no, nothing in there. So what I want to do, well, he's a 35% commission. I'm going to go ahead and sell 
10 of each of my foods. Buy six of those. And then I can buy some plastics. And you know what? And then we can keep that. All right, that's fine. Anything else that I want to get that's cheap? Uh, spares, we are down to two. So let's see about buying some of those. All right, we're going to add back in. Actually, let's take that out and see where we're at. All right. That's fine. I'm, um, yeah, I'm okay with that, I think. We've got nine meals currently. We'll have 13 more meals that can be made. I think we'll be okay till our next crop comes in and we can then pick up some some coins out of the deal I like that all right uh, all we're waiting on there is metal I will take three plastics here but I do want more oxygen but that should allow plastics to go in here right away and I'm gonna prioritize this room that way the medics come here and resources come here as well and biologists will spend more time in here I think that's the best way to go right now now these take metal and plastics to create two spares so another place that we need stuff up and coming and that's why I'm going to build another processing plant that's also why we built a second mine to try to get more production up once this is done and I know we've got enough food I'm gonna probably build a canteen farther down on this side so they're not having to walk so far but I tell you what let's call that an episode episode two accompli Guys, hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I will, even though this may not go up for a little while, I will be checking comments. Um, I will be responding to comments. Uh, if you make a comment about something specific instead of just a statement, kind of reference what it was in regards to because I will certainly forget what I was talking about. So, you know, if you can say, hey, at the 215 mark or, hey, you were talking about the production center, uh, and then you you know clarify or point something out that maybe I missed or didn't know that would help me at least know what you're referencing without having to go back and watch a, the 30 minute video because I'm not going to do that but uh, hey hit the like button subscribe and all that other good stuff thanks for checking it out we'll see you back here on the planet next time bye